Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am going to do a skincare share with you today. These are items that I've come across lately, largely in subscription boxes, which if you watch my channel, you know I have a ton of videos on those. Um, and you can definitely click on the links below to find some of them if you'd like. But today I want to share some of them with you and some are favorites and things that I really was impressed with. And some are things that I am glad that I didn't actually go out and purchase because they didn't really do anything for me. That being said, they might they might be winners for you so I thought I'd let you know about them either way and let you know what it was about them that I sort of liked and didn't like just to start off my skin is normal slash dry slash sometimes super dry and I am a big 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 fan of moisturizing and loofah and moisturizing head to toe every day all year regardless of whether it's really dry or really humid huge fan of that. So I gauge these products based on their wearability on a daily basis. And if they're specialty, for some reason, I'll let you know, but pretty much I'm looking for these things to be the real deal. So my first product is Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Face Polish, and I loved this. I have always used either a face brush or a konjac sponge or some sort of face polish and right now I'm madly in love with the Konjac sponge because I find that it's very light, but you can either pair it with something like this or you can use a cleanser or sometimes I just kind of use it after I've done my cleansing just to give a little extra to make sure I cleaned into all like my pores and just really got in there. That's my favorite thing lately, but when I got this, I started using it and it reminded me of how much I miss having an actual face scrub because sometimes your skin gets a little dry or sometimes you're just wearing a lot of makeup and you just really want something that you know is going to get in there and gently exfoliate your skin. So what I loved about this Laura Mercier one is I felt like it did a really good job. My skin felt so smooth and... Um, like softer and just everything just applied and absorbed better after I use this, but it wasn't harsh, but it felt like it's like that. It's like that fine line of where it's as strong as it can be without uh, going over to the other side and coming harsh. So I really love this. Now, would I repurchase it? That's hard to say. My only con about this is the price. It's just Laura Mercier face polish is a much higher price point than let's say the St. Ives Sensitive Skin Apricot Polish, which has been around forever and I think is a good product. I don't think it's as good as this, but I think it's a good product. And Nuance used to have one, that's Salma Hayek's skincare and beauty line. They used to have one that was a walnut face scrub. I honestly haven't purchased it in so long. I don't even know if they still make it, but I really liked that one. I actually abandoned St. Ives for that and use that for years and then I kind of abandoned that for face brushes and konjac sponges and all kinds of other things that work just as well but are you, you don't run out of a face brush you just have to make sure it stays clean konjac sponge you do have to replace but at any rate I just feel like sometimes these things are more preferable to a polish but if you're looking for a polish and you're willing to spend a few extra dollars this one was fantastic I was really impressed with it the next item I have for you is a hand moisturizer and it is this company called minus 417 and I honestly didn't have didn't have very high expectations for this I don't even remember which box it came from like it really didn't even register with me I just kind of took it and threw it to the side which is sometimes what happens with products that I'm um, that just don't catch my eye or don't tell me what they do. And that's the case with this. It doesn't, it just, I didn't even know what the name of the company was. I thought it was negative 417. It's actually minus 417. And it just says hand moisturizer and it doesn't tell you that it uses, it's like something from like the Dead Sea or it's, it does all this fancy stuff. Like if you go to the website, it'll tell you all kinds of fancy stuff about this product. And I will put the website's link below so that you can do all your discovery you want there. I will tell you what I think is important about this product. And that is that it is one of the nicest hand moisturizers I've ever used. And I, I'm going to put some on now and I will explain to you why this really worked for me. It is a somewhat thicker consistency, right? So it's not like a watery cream. It's definitely a proper hand cream. It has a very nice scent. It's a very light, subtle scent, but it's it's got an actual scent. So it doesn't just smell like lotion or cream, you know, that generic scent you get um, in drugstore products. It's not that. It's definitely got one of those higher end scents, but it's just absolutely lovely. I really don't know how to explain it. Um, except to say that 
I could almost describe it as like a spa scent, except I think it's just nicer because spa scents, as much as I love them, there is kind of a generic spa scent. Like it's usually like rose water or almond or, I mean, there's a lot of different ones and they're really nice, but this is just nicer. I think whatever, whatever scent this is, it just really does it for me. And I would say it's a little bit sweet. And so if you like candy-ish things, it leans towards that. It doesn't smell like candy, but it leans that way. But it's just lovely. But best of all is that it's just really hydrating. It's really smooth. It has almost like the benefits of using an oil, but it's not oily. So it has like it has that feel and it has almost that look when you first put it on of an oil. And I'm a fan of oils but it's not oily because sometimes you want to use an oil, but you're just not in the mood to have that oil on you. And this is like the perfect go between. And I've been using it quite a bit and I, I've made a dent in it. You can't really tell, but I've made a dent in the product. Um, but I love it. And this I actually would repurchase, even though it's much pricier than what I would want to spend. I want to say it's like in the 15 to $17 price range. And you would probably have to pay shipping on top of that because I've only ever seen it on their website or on Amazon. But it's something that if I was going to treat myself to a good hand moisturizer, this would be the one. The next item was in a Walmart box. And you can tell because it is a typical drugstore item that we've all seen a million times. It is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. And for years, people have been telling me about this cream and how amazing it is. And for years, I kind of ignored them because I thought, okay, it's probably pretty good. But the one that I use, which is St. Ives Collagen Elastin Face Cream and St. Ives Collagen Elastin Body Cream, are amazing and they're more affordable. And I've been using them for so many years, I couldn't even tell you how many, like years and years and years and years. And they're phenomenal and I take my skincare very seriously. So I don't want to switch out my face cream or my body cream just because somebody tells me that they really like theirs. Um, however, if I have a reason to, or if I get one in my Walmart beauty box, I will try it. And I actually put this on at night over my usual face cream. And it really is as good as everybody says. It has a very thick consistency. So it's much thicker than my face cream, which is a little bit more liquidy than this. Um, and it really adds a layer of moisture. And if I put this on at night, either by itself or with my face cream, I just have a habit. I want to use my face cream because it seeps into my skin. This, I don't know if it really seeps in as well as my usual, but it definitely puts a nice protective layer. And when I wake up, my skin is definitely softer and nicer looking. And if I'm putting on makeup, it will apply much better because of that. So huge fan of the Cetaphil. And I would totally buy this again when I run out. The next product, it was this natural olive cream light formula for dry and normal skin. And the funny thing about this product is the name of the product is actually hidden at the top and I don't know how to pronounce it. It is Z-I-A-G-A-A and I will also link this below just so you can so you can find it if you want to. I liked this cream. I think it's a good cream. It is definitely a light olive oil cream. Personally, I prefer something much heavier because like I said, I... My skin can be normal dry or really extremely dry, and I treat it like it's extremely dry <laughs> regardless. Um, so I'm always looking for more of a Cetaphil type of thing. But my good friend who has more normal oily skin um, tried it, and he actually loved it, which surprised me. I didn't think that he would go for an, like an oil-based kind of cream. But it has a very nice consi consistency. Um, it is... Uh, it is lighter. It's not as thick as the Cetaphil. It's much lighter, but it's still not like runny or watery at all. Like I, I'm like shaking it and it's not coming off. So it has a nice consistency. It's very whipped and it does feel nice. And I think it would be a good summer cream for those of you who really can't stand the idea of putting a cream on in the summer. I think if you're willing to go for a light oil based one, this would be a good one for you. For me, I'm glad to have this. I'll use it when it, when it feels like it could be useful for me, but I wouldn't purchase it. But my friend, after trying this, is going to go out and buy the bigger size of it because he thought it was fantastic and it worked well for his skin type. So that's that. The next item is the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. And I really wanted to like this. Um, 
And I've seen people talk about this on YouTube and some of them have liked it and I personally didn't. It didn't really do anything for me. I prefer something that's more moisturizing. This wasn't moisturizing enough. I didn't personally feel like it did anything for my skin or make my foundation look any better and I tried it with a couple different foundations and it just did nothing for me so it's not something that I would purchase again but I wanted to share that with you just because I think there are a lot of people out there who thought this was great and actually thought the whole Estee Edit line was great and I just wanted to share another voice and that personally this didn't do anything for me but I am a great fan of Estee Lauder. I love their lipsticks and their double wear foundations, both the one in the bottle and the compact, which was just, I am so upset that they're discontinuing that because that, that was one of the best products I've come across in ages. So that's that. And my last product that I'm going to share with you today is one that I'm just sharing just so you know about it. It is the Dr. Lily Fan Probiotic Recovery Cream, and it is an anti-aging moisturizer. And I think with anything anti-aging, they really want you to use it for months and months and months before they can show you what the benefits are. But for me, I don't necessarily believe I don't necessarily believe companies when they tell me they're going to do something miraculous for my skin because the truth is we're not going to know until we're much older if they worked or didn't work. What I do know is that I think it's my responsibility to moisturize my skin daily and cleanse it properly. And when I try a lotion, I want to feel like it reaches all the way into like the deepest layer of my skin to feel like it's really working for me today and hopefully have benefits in the future but again we won't know that so it should at least get me through the day and this really didn't do anything for me I um I'll show it to you it's let's see the consistency is it's sort of like the last one I showed you. No, this is a lot lighter. This is more like my face cream. It's lighter and more like wearable on an everyday. And it feels like it'll seep in. And it's not that it sat on top of my skin, but it didn't feel like it seeped in deep enough for me. And again, I'm looking for that. And that's really all I'm looking for. Um, I think that's the only reasonable expectation I can have of a lotion is to get me... Um, more hydrated and more plump looking skin the day I have it on um, and it has a very unusual scent so it just has a it has that it has almost a cheap lotion scent to it it really does I can't describe it any other way I don't care for the scent at all it didn't do anything for my skin and it's not something I'm not even gonna finish this and I'm definitely not gonna repurchase it so um, please comment below if you have used Dr. Lily fan products and what you think of them. I want to know, um, but my first impression of them as a brand is a no-go. It's just not, it just didn't do anything for me, but I'm going to pass it on to a friend and maybe somebody in my life will love it and think it's fantastic. And if I find that to be the case, I will blog about it or put it somewhere where you can find it. So at any rate, those were the products that I've come across recently that I thought were worth talking about. The big winners for me were definitely the Cetaphil, the Laura Mercier, and the Minus 417. And the big losers for me were that one that I can't even pronounce that my friend really liked, the Dr. Lily fan, and the Estee Edit vanish and stick just it really didn't do it really didn't do anything for my skin um, or for my foundation I think I could just wear my foundation on its own with nothing and it will look just as good um, if not better so anyhow that was my video for today uh, please comment below if you have anything to share about these brands if you've used them if you like them if you dislike them just because I dislike them doesn't mean that they wouldn't work for you and just because I think they're amazing doesn't mean that they'd be amazing for you but again always worth sharing and I always want to hear your opinion uh, please like this video please subscribe to my channel and please come back soon for more videos have a great day and take care